Good morning children. In today's class we are going to learn about determinants. What is a determinant? Value associated with every square matrix we call as determinant. So determinants can be done with only square matrices. What do you mean by the word square matrix? The order will be 2 by 2 or 3 by 3. 2 rows and 2 columns. 3 rows and 3 columns. So these are called square matrices. Let me call this as A and B. What I want is determinant. So how to find out the determinant? First of all, the notation. Put A within two lines. You call this as determinant of A. How to find it? Multiply the two elements. 7 into 3. Subtract 1 into 8. So how to find the determinant? Multiply these two. Minus multiply the other two. 7 3's are 21. Minus 1 into 8 is 8. 21 minus 8 is 13. So determinant A is a value. It is not a matrix. A is a matrix whereas determinant A is a number. And I can find this number only with square matrices. To find out the determinant of B, we should know certain words called minor. How to find minor? Minor. See, you are all minors below 18 years. You are submissive to your parents. The same idea, minor of a matrix when I say, you hide a particular row and a column and the remaining we call minor. So here I want minor of 5. Where is 5 coming? It is in second row, hide it. It is in second column, hide it. So what is remaining? 1, 3, 7, 9. I hide the second row and hide the second column. The remaining are 1, 3, 7, 9. Find the determinant and that we call minor of 5. So expand the answer. 1 into 9, 9. 7, 3 is 21. 9 minus 21. So minor is again a number. It is also a determinant. Tell me another example. Minor of 9. Which one should I hide? 9 is coming in third row. Hide it. 9 is coming in third column. Hide it. What is remaining? 1, 2, 4, 5. Expand it. 5 minus 8. My answer is minus 3. So minor if you want. Suppress or hide the row and column where the element is present. Now, for every element I can find minus. There are 9 elements. So, I can find out 9 minus. After finding minor, we put a symbol for minor and call it as cofactor. How to find it? A 3 by 3 matrix to find cofactor, I call it as signed minor. Cofactor is nothing but signed minor. What is this sign? First row, first element. Where I am now? First row, first element. Add these two. 2. 2 is an even number. Give the symbol plus. 2 is coming in first row, second column. First row, second column. Add these two. My answer is 3. Odd number, put negative. What about 3? First row, 
third column so it is 4 even number comes positive now you can easily tell me this will be negative positive negative third row positive negative positive we know first row first element so this is a11 adding these two even number implies positive this is a12 first row second column adding these two odd number tells me minus symbol a13 adding these two positive even number so it tells me positive plus minus plus how does it come we put minus 1 power i plus j where i stands for the row and j stands for the column i represents the row in which the element is present j represents the column in which the element is present i plus j say 1 plus 1 it is even my answer is positive it is odd my answer is minus 1 power odd number is negative so my answer is either plus symbol or minus symbol with this symbol put the minor cofactor first i have to assign the symbol and then i must find the minor how to expand a determinant of three rows and three columns using cofactors we can expand the determinant along first row or second or third you can also do it by first column or second or third. Let us expand along R1, row 1. Row 1, what are the elements I have? 1, 2, 3. How to write the determinant 1 into cofactor of 1 plus 2 into cofactor of 2 plus 3 into cofactor of 3. To write cofactor, I must allot the symbols. We know for first row, the symbols are plus, minus, plus. 1 in 2. Cofactor of 1, the symbol allocated is plus. Hide the row, hide the column. Hide the row, hide the column where 1 is present. What is left out? 4, 6, 0, 1 plus 2 in 2. Where is 2 coming here? What is the symbol allocated? Minus. So this will become minus. Now, where is 2 coming actually? First row, second column. What is left out? 2, 6, 3, 1. Plus 3 in 2. 3, the symbol allotted is plus. Where is 3 coming? First row, third column. I am left with 2, 4, 3, 0. Now we shall expand 1 in 2. Multiply, multiply and subtract. 4 into 1 minus 0 into 6 minus 2 into 2 into 1 minus 3 into 6 plus 3 into 2 into 0 minus 3 into 4. I get 1 into 4 minus 2 into minus 16 plus 3 into minus 12. Or 4 plus 32 minus 36 that is equal to 0. My answer can be any number. It can be a fraction, positive or negative. Whenever determinant vanishes, that is, determinant A becomes 0, the matrix given I will call singular. So, we also remember this new idea. The matrix A is singular if determinant A equals 0. Now remember if I use second row, 2 into cofactor of 2, 4 into cofactor of 4, 6 into cofactor of 6. I can do this for any row or any column. 
Is this the only method to expand the determinant? No. Beyond the usual method of evaluating the determinant using plus minus plus symbol, we can also use Sarah's rule to evaluate how to do it. The given determinant we have just copied. Now, again, repeat first column and second column. I have A11, A21, A31. Second column, A12, A22, A32. Now, cross, we multiply like this. As we write it, I get A11, A22, A33 plus the next three. A12, A23, A31 plus the next three. A13, A21, A32. So diagonally we have multiplied and find out the sum of the three products. The next I take in the reverse way. Multiply like this. So I write A31, A22, A13. First product. The second. A32, A23, A11. Plus the third product. A33, A21, A12. I have multiplied the three diagonally. Add it all. What should you do now? Put minus symbol in between. So this we call determinant A using Saris rule. You can adopt this method or using plus minus plus the cofactor method to evaluate the determinant. How to expand this determinant? This we call expansion of a determinant. Even before doing, I could have said the answer is zero. How? Look at first row and second row. First row is 1, 2, 3 and second row is 2, 4, 6. See 1 into 2, 2 into 2, 3 into 2. So I will say row 1, R1 tells me row 1. And R2 tells me row 2. These two are proportional. What do you mean by the word proportional? First row, I multiply by a number, I get second row. Such ideas we call proportional. Whenever two rows are proportional, I need not do all this. I can immediately write the answer 0. See, expanding is easy or identifying this is easy. Definitely this idea. So, it needs to know the properties of determinants. Without expanding, can I simplify it easily? So, here are the list of properties. Matrix A and matrix A transpose have the same determinant. Matrix A and matrix A transpose has the same determinant. Determinants of A and A transpose are equal. So this tells me if I interchange rows and columns of a matrix, determinant value does not change. Look at these two determinants. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 7, here it is second row, but here I have written as third row. 12, 0, minus 1, here I have written third row, whereas here I have done second row. So what have I done? I have interchanged R2 and R3. R2 is second row, R3 is third row. When I interchange two rows, my answer becomes negative. So, whatever answer comes for this, change the symbol when I do this operation. So, this suppose this answer is 30. This answer will be minus 30. Suppose this answer is minus 12. This answer will be plus 12. So, what I do? Interchanging two rows. 
my answer becomes negative. So, this is the second property. Can I interchange two columns? Yes. So, when you do interchanging C1 to C3 or C1 to C2 or R1 to R3. So, all these ideas tell me interchanging two. You cannot interchange column and row. You can interchange columns or rows. And if you do, whatever answer was before will now change the symbol. So, here plus 10, I get minus 10 here. Here minus 10, I get plus 10 here. So, this is a very important idea in determinants. What is the answer for this determinant? Row 1 and row 3 are identical. Row 1 and row 3 are identical. I need not expand. Immediately put the answer 0. So, in all the exercise problems, this is our first idea. Given a determinant, check whether any two rows are identical. And once I decide they are identical, immediately put the answer 0. Give me another example. 4, 0, 7, 4, 0, 7. Whatever comes here, x, y, z, any number comes here, I don't bother. What is my answer? 0. Because column 1 identical to column 2. X, Y, Z may be any numbers. I don't bother. Even 1000, 3000, 1 crore, anything can come. Column 1, column 2 are identical. Immediately put the answer as 0. When I see the first row, is there any number common? Yes. 2 is common for all the first row elements alone. Take 2 out. What remains? 1, 2, 3. If I take 2 out, 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 3 times 2. This is another property of determinants. A particular row, a number is common. I can keep it out. Write the remaining in. Second row, third row, no change. So, this is my first step. And the previous property says, two rows are identical, my answer is 0. So, this I will write 2 into 0, so it is 0. So, what do I infer? Two rows are proportional. Even now, this symbol we call proportional. Proportional means multiples. 1 to are, 2 to are, 3 to are. Even now, my answer is 0. Give another example. 5, 10, 15. 1, 7, 0, 4, minus 1, 3. Which number is common in first row? 5. So, I can take 5 out. It becomes 1, 5, sir, 2, 5, sir, 3, 5, sir, 1, 7, 0, 4, minus 1, 3. So, here I have to expand and find the answer. Here, I am able to say immediately. Now, nothing is identical. So, I have to expand putting plus minus all that. So, here what we mainly say, any number common for a particular row, take it out. So, 5 is taken. This becomes 1, 2, 3. Second row and third row, write as it is. Look at this example x, y, z, y, z, x, z, x, y. Is there anything common? No. Is there anything identical? No. But can you make something as common? You can. Add row 1, row 2, row 3. See what happens? R1 plus R2 plus R3. Put this new thing in an R row, R1 or R2 or R3. So R1 becomes... Add R1, R2, R3. Add and tell me X plus Y plus Z. Y plus Z plus X. Z plus X plus Y. So what have I done? Adding first row, second row, third row and I am putting it in R1. So R1 becomes when I write, it should start with R1. I cannot say R1 becomes R2 plus R3. I should write 
2 are 1, I can add another row or I can subtract another row. Whatever is needed, I can do. We can also write R1 becomes R1 plus 2 times R2, 3 times R3. So, these are another way of easing our answer. So, when I add like this, my answer becomes simple. I can very well do it. So, this is an important property in determinants. To any row, I can add or even subtract equi multiples. Second row fully, I multiply by 2. Third row fully, I multiply by 3. I add or subtract according to my need. I should not write R1 into R2 wrong. I should not write R1 divided by R3 wrong. I can add or subtract. If I need, I can multiply by a number. Scalar multiplication allowed. But I should not multiply or divide. So in this case, by adding R1, R2, R3, I get first row as X plus Y plus Z throughout. Second row, no change. Third row, no change. Now this helps me. First row, X plus Y plus Z is common. If I take it out, I get 1, 1, 1. Second row, Y, Z, X, no change. Third row, Z, X, Y. Now I have to expand and proceed. Most of the problems try to bring 1s in the determinant. So, this idea tells me I can subtract. So, 1 minus 1 will yield 0. Easy for us to expand. So, these ideas will be understood when we do the exercise problems. Next property. First row alone has two two elements. Sum of two elements. Second row, third row, it is only single element. How shall I simplify? Put the determinant itself as sum of two determinants. All the first elements write in the first determinant. X, Y, Z. All the second elements put in the second determinant. Y, Z, X. Second row, third row, no change. Right as it is. So what is second row? Y, Z, X. Here also Y, Z, X. What is third row? Z, X, Y. Here also Z, X, Y. Now you proceed with the problem. So this is an another important property in determinants. First row is a X sum of two, two elements. So, the determinant itself is becoming sum of two determinants. First row, all the first elements will come in the first determinant. All the second elements will come in the second determinant. Second row, copy the same. Third row, copy the same. The proofs are not needed, but the properties you must be thorough with. So, in every problem in the exercise, we will highlight the properties once again. Exercise 7.2, question number 1. Without expanding the determinant, prove that S is S, A squared, B squared, C squared. Here you have sum of two, two elements. The right hand side is 0. As I call LHS, I can just copy the given question. Determinants. Claim you to observe the given question keenly so that it will give you a clue as to what you must do. The very first thing I see in any row or column there is some common term. Yes, S is common in C1. So I am taking S from column 1. I get 1, 1, 1. The remaining just copy as it is. What is my next step? RHS is 0. Tells me any two columns or rows will become identical. If 
it is not already identical you try to make it identical how to do it just add here i am adding a square here b square here c square here how to write it column 3 new so new column 3 column 1 column 2 column 3 to column 3 i am adding column 2 so how do i write it c3 dash is c3 plus c2 when i write like this c1 unaltered write as it is c2 unaltered write as it is c3 add c3 and c2 i get a square plus b square plus c square second b square plus c square plus a square third c square plus a square plus b square as i look at the problem third column a square plus b square plus c square is common taking a square plus b square plus c square as a common term out from c3 i am left with first column no change second column no change i have taken this out so these three will now become one 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 now column one identical to column 3 we have learnt a property in determinants that if any two columns are identical the determinant value becomes 0 0 into anything gives you 0 and that is the RHS so whenever prove that problems are coming start from LHS arrive at rhs whenever rhs is zero the easy clue that you have to remember try to bring two columns or any two rows to be identical identical will immediately lead to zero whenever two columns are identical or same i get zero zero into anything leads to zero and that is the rhs so the very first clue check out for common term to be taken out very second clue try to add or subtract to bring about same term in a particular column or row so that i can take the common term out now automatically two columns are identical giving us zero Question number 3. Prove that A square BC AC plus C square A square plus AB B square AC AB B square plus BC C square equals 4 A square B square C square. RHS gives us an idea. Try to bring ABC out from a row or a column. Looking at first column. I have A in every term. So, LHS, I copy as it is. And I remove A from first column, B from second column, and C from third column. First column A, second column B, third column C. Check what is remaining from first column. From every term, remove A. I am left with A, A plus B, B. Second column, remove B. I am left with C. From B square, I have taken B. So, it is B. From here, B plus C. From third column, I am removing C. A plus C. Here, A. Here, C. This is my first step. As I look out, B, 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 B is coming. So, let us subtract row 3 from row 2. Row 1, no change, write as it is. See, this common term should come as it is. Determinant symbol as it is. First row as it is. 
I am changing only R2. R2 becomes R2 minus R3. Let us subtract. A plus B minus B, I will get A. B minus B will get cancelled. I am left with C. A minus C. So what have we done? From R2, I subtract R3. Copy R3 as it is. B, B plus C, C. Next step. Again I check, is anything common? No. But if I add C and minus C will get cancelled. C and minus C will get cancelled. So what is my next step? A, B, C will come out. Row 1 I can add with row 2. So we write R1 becomes R1 plus R2. As I add A plus A will become 2A. C minus C will become 0. C minus C will become 0 but A plus A will give me 2A. Copy second and third row as it is. The next step. In the first row, I can see 2A is common. Remove. I am left with 1, 0, 1. Second row, third row, copy as it is. Now we shall expand. Remember the symbols plus, minus, plus. As I expand, I have 2 A into A, A square, B, C. 1 into. Hide the row, hide the column. I am left with minus C, A minus C, B plus C, C. 0 into anything, 0, forget that. Plus 1 into. Again, where is 1 coming? Hide the row, hide the column. I am left with A minus C, B, B plus C. Let us remember how to expand the determinant. It is 1 into, so ignore 1. Cross multiply. Minus C into C. Minus C square. These two I have to subtract. B into A. B into C. C into A. C into C. First determinant over. Plus. Again 1 into. So ignore 1. Multiply. Open bracket. A into B. A into C. Put the symbols correctly. Minus of B into minus C. As I simplify, I get 2A square BC into minus C square minus AB minus into minus plus BC minus CA minus into minus plus C square plus AB plus AC plus BC. As we cancel C square and C square, AB and AB, AC and AC. We are just left with BC plus BC. What is BC plus BC? 2BC. As we multiply, we get 2 into 2, 4, A square, B into B, B square, C into C, C square and we have arrived at the RHS. Hence the problem. So we are just able to check LHS equal to RHS. What are the properties of determinants that we used? Common term in a particular column we have taken out. From second column B, from third column C. We can subtract a row from another. So, R2 becomes R2 minus R3. Can you write R3 minus R2? No. If I want R2, from R2, I can add or subtract another row. The next idea, here we have done R1. 
the same technique. R1 becomes R1 plus R2. Here I have added a row. Here I have subtracted a row. These are all properties of determinants. Again, we have taken common term out. As we expand, remember multiply, multiply, subtract. A into B plus C minus B into minus C. As we expand and cancel the terms, we are able to achieve the RHS. Question number 2. Show that a determinant equal to 0. Remember the idea whenever RHS is 0. We will try to bring two rows or two columns identical. As I look at BC, CA, AB. Here A is missing, here B is missing, here C is missing. So this will give us a clue. Multiply R1 by A. R2, second row by B. Third row, R3 by C. As I multiply, I get every term in first row, we multiply by A. A into B plus A into C. A into B C. A into B square C square. Second row, we multiply by B. B into C. B into A. B into C A. B into C square A square. Third row, we multiply by C. A C plus B C. A B C. Again, C we multiply with A square B square. Now, as I look out, second column A B C is common. Third column also A B C is common. So, we take A B C common from two columns C2 and C3. So, how many times A B C is coming? From C2, one ABC. From C3, another ABC. First column, no change, right as it is. Second column, ABC is taken, so it becomes 1, 1, 1. Third column, ABC taken, one BC left out here, one CA left out here. 1 A B left out. Now let us add these two. So what we are going to do? A B C into A B C. I can write A square B square C square into determinant column 1. I am going to add column 3. So column 1 becomes C1 plus C3. How to write it? AB plus AC plus BC. I write AB plus AC plus BC. BC plus AB plus CA. AC plus BC plus AB. Second and third column copy as it is. As I check. A square, B square, C square into. In all the first column, I have A, B, B, C, A, C common. A, B plus B, C plus A, C is common. I am left with 1, 1, 1. Second and third column, copy as it is. Now, I check column 1 is identical to column 2. Whenever two columns are identical, we know the determinant value vanishes or I will say into 0. 0 into anything 0 and 0 is the RHS given in the problem. So from this step, we take AB plus BC plus CA out as common. And whenever I take, I am able to arrive two columns to be identical, which leads to zero. Zero into any term gives us zero and which is the RHS. 
Question number 4. Prove that. A determinant given RHS is ABC into 1 plus 1 plus A plus 1 plus B plus 1 plus C. As I look out the problem, there are so many 1s in the LHS. So, I can write R1 becomes R1 minus R2 to achieve more zeros which is easy for us to expand. R2 I can write R2 minus R3 as we subtract R1 minus R2 1 plus A minus 1 A 1 minus 1 minus B 1 minus 1 0 R2 becomes R2 minus R3 1 minus 1 0 1 plus B minus 1, B. 1 minus 1 minus C. I get minus C. Third row, right as it is. Now we have more zeros, so we can directly expand. How should I expand? A into, remember the symbols, plus, minus, plus. A into, I have, Hide the row, hide the column. B minus C, 1, 1 plus C. Minus of minus B would give me plus B. Into, hide the row, hide the column. Where B is coming? First row, second column. What is left out? 0 minus C, 1, 1 plus C. Now, let us expand it. I get A into, this way we multiply, B into 1, B into C, minus, this way we multiply, 1 into minus C, minus C, plus B into, 0 into any term, 0, minus, 1 into minus C, minus C, as we multiply A into B, a into B C minus into minus plus C into A A C minus into minus plus B into C B C. Now in all the terms I need A B C out in RHS. So what I do? I take A B C out. What do you mean by taking A B C? Every term divide by A B C. AB by ABC, ABC by ABC, AC by ABC, BC by ABC. As we simplify, I get 1 by C, 1, 1 by B, 1 by A. To rewrite as in the question, I get ABC, I have 1 in order 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C, which is the RHS. So, this problem, whenever I have more ones to be observed, I can subtract just to cancel the ones. 1 plus A minus 1. 1 minus 1 minus B. 1 minus 1. R2 minus R3. 1 minus 1. 1 plus B minus 1. 1 minus 1 minus C. Third row, no change, just write as it is. How to expand A into? Where is A coming? First row, first column. The remaining elements I write out. Second, I have minus symbol as cofactor symbol minus into minus plus. Where is B coming? First row, second column. I am left with 0 minus C, 1, 1 plus C. As we multiply 0 into 1 plus C, 0 minus 1 into minus C, minus into minus plus. As we multiply, we take ABC out and we simplify to arrive at the RHS.